really nice to have you on Channel 4. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do, to be in a studio with the lights and the cameras rolling, and you made a very good job, Rodney. Um, we're looking forward to seeing you next week. Well, a few weeks ago, our surgeon, Dr John Evans, caught that record salmon in Ketchigan, and last week he invited the Channel 4 camera team uh, to accompany him on a salmon trip to see if he could repeat his record fish. So we're now going to bring you a few highlights from this Channel 4 special report. Well, a very good morning to all our Channel 4 viewers. As you can see, we're just leaving the uh, Sun Princess now, and we're off on a salmon fishing trip. I know many of the crew have um, talked a great deal about how to catch these fish, so we're hopefully today going to catch you a fish and show you something what the game is all about. This morning, we're going to be fishing fairly traditional Alaskan methods of catching salmon. If I can first of all demonstrate some of the tackle to you. The rod which we're using, I'm pleased to support is a British rod made by that famous firm of Hardy's probably the best fishing tackle in the world. Now this is a 10-foot salmon trolling rod made of fiberglass. The reel we're using is what we call a centre pin, um, which is a very good reel because it allows you to have a fairly good control over the fish and a more direct feeling over the fish than, than the other sort of reels which other people will be using and we might have a chance to show you later. We're fishing, uh, the line we're using is a 20-pound test. Some of the fish around here run well well uh, above the 20 pound mark so it's fairly important that if the fish wants to run away from the boat that you don't hold him otherwise obviously he'll break the line one of the nice things about fishing in alaska is that there are no obstructions in the water such as trees or rocks and if a fish wants to go you can let him go because he's not going to get his line wrapped round around anything important to get the bait down to the right level we use fairly heavy weights and today i'm using a 10 ounce weight and coming from this, this 10 ounce weight is what we call a leader which leads to the, uh, the hooks upon which in a moment I'll be putting the bait on and showing you how to put the bait on. Right, now here we use the bait. These of course you have to buy and they are in fact a real herring which are netted specifically for the purpose. You can see that they're fairly big bait. They average about oh between six and seven inches and this is the size that the locals tend to fish. Now, if you'll just bear with me a moment while I pick up the hooks, and I'll show you how we put it on the hook. Possibly, or, or more even probably, the most important thing about the fishing is to get the herring on the hook so that it moves in the water, not straight, but that it has a slight rolling action. And this is meant to uh, stimulate a dead or dying herring, which are the ones which tend to attract the salmon in the water. Uh, Mike, could you come here a moment, please? Welcome to Mike Gold, our first officer. Now, if Mike will hold the microphone, I'll show you how we're going to put the herring on the hook. John will focus down. You see there are two hooks, and one slides up and down the line. First, you take the first hook, and you put it through the head, put it right through the head like that. Then you take the second hook, the same spot and you take the hook which you've already would you take the hook which you've already put through and put that into the side of the fish take, to take a really deep bite pull it through give it a little push and then by sliding the hooks like this this gives the fish a little bit of a bend show you a slight bend and that as it goes through the water makes the herring has a slight this slight twirling action which I've been telling you about and hopefully that is the little beauty which is going to do the magic this morning. And here we are for an action shot. It looks to me as if we have a salmon, yes, it must be a salmon with the, the way the rod is going. We're desperately trying to get the other rods in quickly. John Evans is quite excited about it. It looks to me as though it may well be a big one. Here she comes.
other rods are in now, and Martin is fighting it. It's coming up alongside the ship now. A yell of triumph from the chief officer as he plays it towards the boat now. John Evans standing by with the net. Yes, it's a nice one. Still not the really biggie we hoped, but it's another salmon. Gently as we go. Whoops of ecstasy from Martin. Some practical advice from John Evans. Gently and easily we do it. Try and get the fish in the water if you can, John. Quite a fighter, this one. appear on the camera any minute. It's action all the way. Still fighting. It's gone right round underneath the boat now. What fighters these fish really are. You can see the rod is bent almost double there. Back and forwards. Here she comes. Here she comes now. This way, that way. The only way to do it is with patience. Just a little at a time in the water. Still it fights on. Back and forwards, back under the boat again. As we wait. Here he is now. Almost spent. In he comes, in the net he goes, and up into the boat. A lovely fish. Beautiful king salmon. And the coup de gras is given. And that is salmon number three. In a few minutes time we shall see it. In close up. And there she is. A lovely fish. Well, it's now time for the sports report, and as you all know, Sydney Kling is on leave, so this week we have uh, in the studio another Channel 4 sports representative, Mr. Nick Howard. Nick, welcome to tonight's show. Good evening. The annual Skagway Marathon Run, this year run in aid of the Mickey Mouse Club Fund, will take place this coming Tuesday afternoon at 3 o'clock.